Okay, getting the right notifications. So you'll get notifications for events that you have notifications turned on for on tasks that you're watching. So first of all, let's look at our notification settings. Uh, so if we go into our uh, settings down the bottom here and go into notifications, we can see all the notifications we have turned on or off. So across the top, we have the different places we can get notifications. So email, mobile, uh, in-app, which is in click up here, and browser. So if you don't have the mobile app installed, these ones aren't relevant. If you don't have uh, browser notifications turned on, you can see it up here, then these aren't relevant either. Um, web in-app is always relevant because you are using the app. And you'll always be able to get email notifications as well. So go through this list and see which things do you actually care about. You now, which things are actually worth getting a notification for? So you can see here, I've turned off all of my email notifications. And if you click on this double tick at the top, it'll untick that whole section. Uh, because I come into ClickUp often enough, um, I'm gonna see all of my notifications through the in-app ones, and I don't need emails, so they are all turned off. For my in-app ones, some of them must be on uh, because they're important to the functioning of ClickUp, uh, but some can be turned off. Uh, so for example, reactions, I don't actually need to be notified about someone else you know, liking a comment. Um, I can go through and turn off all the ones that aren't really relevant to you so that the final set you have is very specific to what actually matters in your particular case. Okay, so that is notification settings. Second is which tasks you're watching. So if we go into any task here, up in the top right, we can see the watchers. And this shows me who is gonna get notifications about this particular task. Who is this important to? So here we can see it's both me and Sam. And I can remove myself or add someone else and I'll add myself back. So you will become a watcher if you created the task automatically. You'll also automatically become a watcher if you're assigned to the task or if someone uh, at mentions you. So here I mentioned Sam, that's why he's now a watcher. In a later module, I'll show you how to bulk edit tasks and you can bulk remove yourself as a watcher if you want to tidy that up. Okay, now let's have a look at the actual in-app notifications. So up the top here, we've got notifications and we can see all of our notifications. Now ClickUp has one of the best notification systems that I've seen. So what it does is it groups all the notifications by task. So you can see here task A has four different notifications, but they're all nicely grouped together. Now I can read through them, they will stay here. If I navigate away and then come back, they won't have shifted, which is really good. So I can read through them and once I'm done, I can mark them as cleared and then they'll disappear. If I get that wrong and I want to uh, see a clear notification, I can go into my clear notifications up here and I can even unclear them if I want to return them back to my notification section. From any of these notifications, I can take a number of actions. So for example, here I can change the status of this task. If I click on the task name, it will open the task and I can do anything else. I can also go to the list, add this to my task tray, which we'll talk about later or I can remove myself as a watcher if I want no further notifications about this task. Then, depending on what notifications come through, I can also take some extra actions. So here we can see I've got a comment. I can reply directly to this comment from my notification section, or I can give it a like. If I had a notification that a task was overdue, I'd also have the option to reschedule it. The options to take actions from your notifications do change depending on what the notifications are. And lastly, we can filter our notifications. So I would suggest you try and keep the number of notifications you have sitting here down. So if I see something and it's just for information, like this task A notification, there's nothing here that I actually need to do. So I'll immediately clear that. If there is something that I need to do, such as get back to someone uh, in a comment, I'll leave that there until I get it done. But again, keep this down so that you don't have so many notifications that it's hard to see and prioritize new ones. If you are getting a bit overwhelmed, you can always filter to assign to me to just see tasks that are assigned to you or mentions when your name has been mentioned. And finally, if you do need to bulk clear notifications, uh, you can go into these three dots here and clear all. This is a last ditch measure. Only do it if you've gotten totally overwhelmed and need to completely restart. Uh, you will lose information and potentially important uh, notifications, um, but it's a good way to get back on track if it's just completely gone wild. Okay, that's it for notifications. Before you go, I've got something for you. After using ClickUp for a while, you'll find that it starts to get cluttered, hard to use, and things can start falling through the cracks, even if you set it up really well. And that's nobody's fault, it just happens. Cars need checkups to keep them running smoothly, and so does your ClickUp. 
What I have for you is the instruction manual on how. It's called the ClickUp Checkup, and it's a checklist of the things you need to do every one to three months to prevent a whole swath of issues um, that start cropping up after you've been using ClickUp for about a year or so, sometimes sooner. So with it is a training video where I go through each of the checks myself so you can see exactly how I do it and why. A PDF with the checklist and quick reference instructions. And finally, a ClickUp task template. So you can instantly import all that directly into your ClickUp, have it recur each month or quarter um, with the checklist ready to go. Click the link in the description to get it now and prevent the headache of having the clarity you wanted from ClickUp turn into confusion. I'll see you on the inside.